Uh, hello and welcome to this video. Uh, I decided to start uh, make YouTube videos in English uh, so everyone can understand me. Yes, and I also changed the name of my channel from my original name, which is Roman Barco, and I'm your host today. Uh, to let's talk about art uh, because that's uh, what this channel is supposed to be. Uh, I will clean up a little bit here. Um, and for the first part, I want to talk about an exhibition. So this is a review. In this review, we look at the exhibition Explorer from Rita McBride in the wheels here in Brussels. And I, well, I wrote some uh, text about it in, uh, in German, but um, let me translate it to you Mac bright well uh, basically the exhibition ran from September until Jan to 2017 until January 2018 so for three four months it was uh, divided on two levels of the wheels and it used the exhibition design like the r room structure of the exhibition that was before where the 10 year anniversary of wheels was celebrated um, and the, uh, but I would like to look at um, uh, specifically two pieces of uh, work that were um, in this show prominently like uh, they were like the, the they were like the cover image of the show on the website and as well they were um, featured uh, several times in the exhibition at one there was this uh, wheel, this uh, wheel of a car, or an ancient car, of a horse ride car, and then there was uh, were a lot of these uh, wooden fences. So I think this is really an example of where, uh, like you look at contemporary art, you think what, uh, we WTF, that's what you think, right? You think what the fuck. And, um, well, yeah, I thought there's two in the beginning, but then I came up with this idea because I was uh, reading uh, a text by Niklas Luhmann by, uh, by the German sociologist uh, who was the founder of uh, the system theory, like the systematical theory or something, I guess would be the English term. And well, um, his text, it's a very short text. I have a copy here of the German version. It's really just these these four pages like like this, but I think it's a really nice text. I made it for Christmas and gave it out to people to, to look at it. It's called Learning How to Read. Well, it, uh, well, it would be the English title. The German title is Lesen Lernen. And yeah, I mean, funnily, there's an exhibition in Mexico City right now, I think, or it was going running from John Baldessari, and the title of the exhibition is Learning How to Read with John Baldessari. It said that the title of the exhibition is not Learning How to Read, and an exhibition, and it's an exhibition by John Baldessari. The title of the exhibition is Learning How to Read with John Baldessari. I think that's really uh, interesting. Uh, okay, now my uh, I, my water is uh, boiling, so I have to go. Okay, here we go. I have a coffee now. Mm. Well, um, learning how to read, and yeah, the like the title of the exhibition was actually learning how to read with John Baldessari. I think that's really funny because he put his name in the title. That shows how uh, pff, iconic and uh, emblematic and important John Baldessari is, and how, how famous he is. Basically, well, I connect with him really a lot. Um, nevertheless, uh, Niklas Luhmann is probably as important for the sociology as uh, John Baldessari is for uh, art. So, um, the text of John Baldessari, because nevertheless we're talking about the Rita McBride exhibition, is about the fact, about different kinds of text, genres of text, and he's describing, he's, he says that there are three different genres of text. There is a poetic text, there is a narrat narrative text, and then there is a scientific text. And 
he's referring to the fact that there was a time when there were not there haven't been these cat categories so there was a time when there was no narrative tags basically and uh, well he says it was the uh, a long process going from the 17th century to the 18th century that the idea of or like the the, the presence of a narrative text uh, evolved and this is something that i want to like like with this idea now if we look back at the rita mcbride exhibition we will see that um, the idea that these wooden fences and the the wheels those are um, uh, those are uh, tools from the pre-industrial uh, economy they are like they are the tools of uh, of a time where there wasn't um, where where um, well uh, she fills up uh, vol like she puts objects into the exhibition that are have the form of the leading production technique of the pre-industrialized time um, the landwirtschaft what is it in english the farming whatever you know what i mean right so um I loved it. I, well, I really li like this. Then in the end, because at one point, the the wooden fence got uh, replaced by different technology, such as um, the wooden wheel got replaced by uh, new technology, especially by the automobile. And I like the idea that, like, to think about, if you think about knowledge, and in the end, that's what Michel Foucault did in his book, uh, The Order of the Things, like The Ordnung der Dinge, is that he, uh, well, that he described the fact that the knowledge changed over the centuries. Well, it's super complicated, but, well, what I want to say is, and, like, I came across this, super, this uh, book yesterday, um, and... What it said was, it's called Arts Education Beyond Art, and it says that instead of teaching how to look at art, we should teach how to look at life through art. And this is like this is what the, this show does, and I think this is really something that you should like take with you when you go to an exhibition. It's like let's look at life, and let's look at life through art. So the, like really like you know you are life, like you represent life, you know life. Art does not represent life; it's just a way on how to look at life. I really like this uh, text of this book. Um, I will I will uh, repeat it once more and then I don't know man like let's round it up like this it's not very uh, clear uh, order of thoughts that I came up with today but uh, I mean I, I think I made some points it's again instead of teaching how to look at art we should teach how to look at art uh, at life through art yeah I love this idea and well the Rita McBride exhibition really um, like let's round it up like this. <laughs>